all right very good welcome back okay this is a bonus read for y'all because i just got a little extra time on my hands uh and i just really want to get y'all some messages out um i just think like random urgent messages are just really beneficial for you guys like that's what my guides are telling me so i'm just trying to assist with that because like me personally like no tea no shade to nobody out there in the youtube universe you know but i just notice a lot of love reads and I just don't, as a Virgo person with multiple Virgo placements, I just saw 33, so that's about, uh, that's a master number, it's about master builder, uh, self-mastery and things like that. So I think that's what I'm pretty much talking about. And I feel like a lot of Virgos are mastering themselves. Okay, y'all have come out of hermit mode, mastering y'all self. Some of y'all are still in hermit mode or in and out of hermit mode, whatever y'all need to do. But me being a virgo sun and moon and venus okay and i might even have a couple more placements i don't i'm not going to tell you on whole chart but what i'm trying to say is it's not healthy for us virgos we have a tendency to it's nothing wrong with loving love okay there's nothing wrong with that um that okay the problem okay with virgos is us we we start to be in this like princess of cups energy when it comes to love and the princess of cups she's very dreamy okay serendipitous very deep and sensual and beautiful and amazing and all these great things however the dark side of that energy is that sometimes we get out of touch with reality when it comes to love like what we expect out of people is kind of like a child the way a child would expect love to be if that makes sense so i just think people selling you pipe dreams or just constantly filling your head with outside examples of like possible love opportunities and things like that i just think it could be a little po problematic for certain types of virgos that's just my opinion okay and fear said that i can lead with that okay so that's what i'm doing okay so i keep hearing opportunities I feel like you guys are getting a lot of opportunities right now and that is what's sculpting your like reality to become like brand new the way that it is because all the opportunities coming to you is like everything that you have always ever wanted and i just saw a two three four oh my god but it's like those opportunities are finally popping up to you like for example i'm gonna give you an example right a lot of you guys y'all y'all know coco y'all see her walking around her purring and whatnot that's my little cat that's my little familiar okay since I was a child, I would always learn about very weird animals that nobody really knew about. Two of my favorite animals was the pygmy marmoset, which is a monkey. I loved monkeys when I was a kid. I don't know why, honey. Um, and I also really loved Maine Coons, which is a type of cat breed because they're so big and so fluffy. And I just thought they were cool. So I'm saying that to say, I, if you guys follow my channel, you know that I adopted Coco. I found her when I was going to pick up some mushrooms. I, it was a very trippy weekend, a very, very amazing weekend. And I found her and I adopted her. Like I brought her home and cleaned her up and nurtured her to health and all that. She was just a little kid that was just barely like a month old. Um, saying that to say, honey, she's a Maine Coon. She's a Maine Coon. I've always wanted a Maine Coon since I was a child. And this Maine Coon just fell in my lap, okay? So that's one example of just what I mean. I'll give another example that may is not having anything to do with me. But some of you guys could have always wanted like a sports car, right? Say, for example, you've been saving your money. <laughs> it's funny because this kind of does have something to do with me. But we ain't talking about me. All right. But say, for instance, y'all just been stacking y'all bread. Y'all stacking y'all saving. Y'all got a certain amount in y'all savings. Then all of a sudden, you see the exact um sports car you want on the side of the road with a for sale sign or somebody hitting you up like oh you know i'm trying to get rid of this car i got this new one i want to buy damn it's the sports car i don't want it no more and you're like fuck i got the money it's like all these opportunities that are popping up to a lot of you right now are ones that align with literally your wishes fulfilled it's like literally i think the spirit just really wants y'all to understand your wishes are legitimately a lot of you guys is your wishes are being fulfilled Okay, I just saw triple fours right after I said that. So it's almost like your spirit guys want you to know that they got that shit on lock. That's what I just heard. They got that shit on lock. 
Like, you thought that wasn't the case, but they was just ready to surprise you. They just wanted to see that look on your face when this shit starts slowly coming through. The hermit card went ahead and came out. So some of you guys are in hermit mode and it's be and it's turning y'all into a beast because y'all getting in touch with that inner power and that inner light that y'all didn't even know was there. Okay? And this is a bonus message. So it's probably gonna like, you know, compliment the channeled reading I just did, but that was just kind of a test. That was just kind of something I was trying out. Okay, so I feel like there's some type of I feel like, ooh, yes. Uh, spirit just hit me with the motherfucking truth. Okay, this is the message. You guys, with this Seven of Swords, this is representing your own, your own um, deceptions and tricks that you do to yourself that you don't realize, right? As I said in the other read, a lot of you guys are realizing that you have a lot of harmful thought patterns. I just saw 555, five, five, can't make it up, can't write it, Okay. You're in hermit mode right now, Virgo, because you are observing those negative thoughts. And each time they come up, you are changing them into something positive. That is pure alchemy. That's transmutation. That's turning fucking regular silver into gold, okay? Something worthless into something worthwhile. That's what you're doing. That's what you're working on. You re Fuck. Whoa. You know what's even crazy? Because I'm saying all of this and I'm purely channeling, but that's why I didn't use those cards. Look at this. The magician card came out after it, and I didn't even pay no attention to this damn, to this magician card. You guys are literally ducked off in hermit mode because you turned into the fucking magician. Baby. I don't think they know. I don't think they know that once you step out, they are not going to recognize you again, Virgo. They're not going to, people aren't going to recognize you again. You're tempered. You got your emotions under control, baby. Seven minutes when I said that. You're illuminated. You're enlightened. Okay? That's why you've been in Herman mode. Wielding that motherfucking light. Seeing parts of yourself that you didn't see before. Parts of you that were almost going against yourself. I just saw 717 again. Please Google that number. This is the 16th, umpteenth, 11, 50, 11 time I seen it today. This week. Now, as I was saying, it's funny because there's four cards here. Four is about foundation. It's about security. It's about legacy to me, right? And in, numer in numerology as well. Spirit wants you to know that these these things that you're doing, Virgo, I just saw 747. Okay, you're going up. You're ascending. You're evolving. They want you to know that the things that you're doing now, this is really fucking important work. They really want you to know that. They're like, this is important fucking work. They've been waiting on you to get to this point. Your guides, your spirit guides have been waiting you to get for, to this point. Where you get them emotions under control. You're unstoppable. You beat the fucking craziest of the craziest situations in life. You've mastered that shit. Now you're mastering yourself. It's like you've mastered everything outside of yourself. Now you're mastering your own gifts and your own self and you're honing in on that shit. And that shit is transforming you before your motherfucking eyes so quick. It's not even funny. With the Seven of Swords world open up to you you can have anything you want Virgo you can have any damn thing and you're just sitting in hermit mode thinking like shit what do I want what do I actually want because I know I can have it wow this is fucking amazing this is amazing this is unreal anything else anything else for this urgent message I think I'm gonna name this keep going don't stop <laughs> Cause that's what I'm hearing your fucking guide say. Keep going, don't stop. Keep going, don't stop. <laughs> they dancing to your beat, Virgo. They dancing to your tune. You got the spirits dancing to the beat of your drum. Sheesh. Anything else? Wow. Yeah, it's so funny because I just was talking about the Princess of Cups and this came out. I feel like because you're in such a potent energy that's aligned with your own will and your own happiness and all that beautiful shit, you got some real beautiful, good surprises busting in through the uh, 
through the astrals for you. I feel like this energy where you're trying to not be kind of like childlike, fucking ignorant and stupid when it comes to love and like out of touch with the way things really are. I feel like you guys went through something recently with partnerships and relationships and things that really shows you the reality of humans on planet motherfucking Earth. I just saw 1010. It's almost like you saw the reality of humans on Earth. I'm going to say it again. You saw the reality of humans on Earth. You're not in heaven anymore, just you, you are. You're creating that here. You came from higher realms, Virgo, to make this realm like the higher realms. So you had to realize, you had to understand and overstand. Okay, I had to scoop back. I was a little close to me, y'all, okay? You had to understand and overstand, Virgo. Do you hear me? That you weren't in Kansas anymore. You realize that, like, whoa, I think I'm dealing with demigods and shit. I'm over here fucking demons. What? I'm appalled. That's what you were saying, Virgo. And he realized, like, damn, what the fuck? Like, why do I think, why am I, why do, why am I not, why is it not clicking that I'm not, like, this isn't the, the fairy tale I want it to be yet. I have to create that first. That's what you're doing now, Virgo. You're done being this, you know, stupid, out of touch. You're done with that. You're attracting realness. But the realness you're attracting is straight out of your mind's imagination. You're straight out of your personal fairy tale. I got the Princess of Swords coming out with that Princess of Cups. So that's interesting because it's almost like you're putting both of those energies together, which is so crazy because I didn't even pick that up until I looked at that card. Thank you, Spirit. That's what Spirit wanted me to tell you guys. You guys went from the Princess of Cups where you're deep, you're romantic, you're emotional, okay? You're sensitive, you're dreamy. People love that about you. But it's kind of that place where you're a little lost in that beauty, lost in that dreamland, and you kind of had to wake the fuck up. So you also adopted the energy of the Princess of Swords, 12-12 on the time. Can't make it up. The Princess of Swords, we already know what Swords energy entails. That is air energy. That's logic. You put your dreamy nature with your logical nature, and that is a recipe for success, okay? With attracting, you know? I just saw one, two, three, four. Uh, emotions are very potent energy to do magical work or manifestation work. I feel like all of your, your, your energies are balanced. You're already earth potently. That's what you're made of, earth energy. Your fire is ignited because of your spirit, guys, because of your renewal and your spiritual uh, energy. That's your water as well, okay? And with that renewal, it's like your kundalini rose, okay? Your inner fire has risen. It's been it's been stoked by your, by your guides and by your own will. That's your fire, your will, your passion. That's fire, okay? Creativity, air, you're logical as fuck because you're a Virgo, you're logical about a lot of things. You're practical about a lot of things, but you just had to incorporate logistics when it came to how you viewed relationships and love and partnerships and things like that. Your water is your spirit and you've been working on that. So you have all of your elements together at the table, at the wizard's table, and you're fucking whipping it now. Wow. I just saw this damn princess of swords. Yeah. You're curious. You're like, what else can I create in my mind? I've created a bunch of things that have fucked me over. These, these things that seemed ideal and turned out to be the opposite. So let me dream up something that's practical and dreamy. And I can have that. You found the recipe, Virgo. I just saw fourteen, fourteen on the time. It's like you found the recipe, you found the secret ingredient, like for manifesting what it is that you want. You already know how to manifest. That's not the issue. You just didn't know. It, I keep getting the Powerpuff Girls as a reference. Like Professor X, like he accidentally poured Chemical X into the shit. That was the secret ingredient, though, to create those super little girls. It's like you you had all the spices and the sugars and everything ready to create your reality, but you were missing one potent ingredient. 
And that was, I, I want to say it was almost this Princess of Swords energy. Now, I don't want to say it's the Princess of Swords energy, but it kind of, it kind of is because you got the Princess of Cups juxtaposed to it. The Princess of Cups talk about uh, that dreamy kind of feminine energy where it's like, oh, la di da, like, oh, run into a demon, hey, hi, treat them like they're the sweetest, bestest thing on earth. I just saw 1515. But then you were like, you got your evil twin or your, your shadow twin to say, hey, come here, Princess of Swords. What do you think about that person over there? Princess of Swords, like, you know, the Virgo in you, the, the Princess of Cups in you is like, what do you think about that guy over there? Or what do you think about that girl over there? She's so dreamy to me. She's so dreamy. Your logical twin pops in and say, hey, um, are you fucking blind, Virgo? <laughs> That's a demon, baby girl. You want that to be your happily ever after? And you're this cute little sweet little soul? Nah. I know that that stokes the, 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 the naughty side of you. But what about your other side? What about your angelic side? It's that kind of thing, okay? You've closed up the cycles where you are looking for what you want in all the wrong motherfucking places and creating out of a misguided perception of what you think of the materials you think you had. It's like you are working with just any old materials when you didn't realize that you can have the best, you you can create from the best. Like, let me let me get off that. Thank you, Spirit. Spirit say, okay. <laughs> Teach people, some people how to do magic. They don't use, do, use it for all the wrong reasons, okay? <laughs> Whoever cross watching this damn video. Fucking dusty asses. I know y'all watching weirdos. Anything else for spirit uh, for Virgo's urgent message? So I guess I feel like spirit is literally just telling you, Virgo, keep going. I keep hearing that. It's funny because these literally just fucking came out and I put them back. You got the Ten of Cups. Whatever you're creating, whatever you're whipping up as the hermit, as the fucking magician, those are both Virgo cards. You're creating that Ten of Cups. Okay. You've had a re you've had a revelation. Virgo, you've had a clarity of mind that led you to how to do so. And you're also bringing in your wealth. You're bringing in emotional abundance as well as material abundance. That's what you want. You want both, honey. Both, period. Okay? And then you want to be on the move. You want to go. You want to move. You want to, you want to, you want to, you, you just want to skip town. Okay? You ready to fucking get to it, hop to it. That's what you're manifesting. Then we have the Prince of Swords in the reverse. Dum, dum, dum. So the Prince of Swords in the upright is about making a head over heart decision about something. So this card in the reverse, it's about manipulation, cruelty, weakness. I feel like you're trying to move away from that Virgo with that with that chariot card coming right before that. Why is this here, though? I feel like that's what's it. You got the sun card at the bottom of the deck. It's almost like you want to move towards happiness and not move towards more manipulation, more fucking defeat, more craziness. It's like you would rather die. That's what I just heard. You'd rather die than experience any more of that shit. You're too powered up. You're too, you're too, you're too powered up to go through that shit again. My cat is hilarious, y'all. I wish y'all could see her. Yeah. Heartbreak. You're done with it. You're done with it. You're done with it. I feel like this all spirit even wants you to know. You truce. I literally just said you're done with it. Truce. You're done. That person, that, that those energies, those people, those places that keep trying to weasel their way in. Talking about they heartbroken. and <laughs> You know that's manipulation. You know it. That's your logical side kicking in saying you know that. I think that was the only thing that you was missing in your ingredient, Virgo, and that was just a little bit more air. Let's see what y'all got in the love oracle. What energy are around Virgo right now? Y'all got Albert Einstein. Fucking genius energy. Okay? It says objects in the mirror uh, are closer than they appear. So your manifestations, the shit you're creating, everything you're doing, Virgo, is literally right is 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 so it's way closer than it appears okay the distance between two objects is always relative so even if you're at distance from what you want 
or something ideal as fuck that you really want, that big money ticket item, whatever that is, a person, a thing, okay, you still, it, it's always relative. No, no matter what the distance is between it, it still has a relationship. There's still a re relative relationship between those things. So it's there. Spirit wants to remind you, or this is, this is not even a reminder, this is a confirmation. Thank you, Spirit. That you already know your faith is solid, Virgo. You know that whatever it is that you want, it's already in your reach. You already have it. Because that's just how it goes. <laughs> the simplest things are sometimes the most complex. You get it. Then you got Ricky Martin. You got that in the last read. You just too damn fine right now, Virgo. All you want to do is have fun. All you want to do is the things you want to do. People people say Virgos are uptight. If only they knew. If you think Virgos are uptight, you never got close to a Virgo. Okay? You never was close friends, trusted by a Virgo. Because we wild as hell. We're wild. When we work hard, we play harder. We feel like we deserve it at that point. We feel like we have to earn a good time. And that's not really a bad way to think, in my opinion, because it encourages self-discipline or personal discipline and personal mastery. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, and it's, it's like all you want to do is what you want to do and keep the motherfuckers close to you. They fuck with you and you fuck with them. You only want people around who you fuck with, Virgo. Let's get one more. Thank you, Spirit. It's so crazy because the last read I did, I was inspired by Soul Fly Butterfly Tarot. Uh, shout out to her. Uh, and another reader too, I think Honey Honey Scorpio or something. Because a lot of uh, people who are really in, into their gifts, they're giving up their uh, tarot cards. And that makes a lot of sense to me. So I wanted to try it out more because I really don't need the cards. I just use them for the client, for you guys. So that you can see the pictures and blah, 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 and have the confirmations or whatever you need. But she pulled literally like these same cards, which is kind of crazy. She has the same deck. But anyways, the last card you guys have is Elizabeth Taylor. And it says, don't run so fast that you can't be caught. So you guys are so powerful. Y'all moving so fucking fast right now. Like on some shit at the speed of light. Because y'all in that frequency, y'all in that love vibration. Spirit say, just slow down just a little bit. Maybe you know already. Maybe this is another confirmation that you know that you just need to slow down just a little bit. Because that thing you want, that person you want, blah, blah, blah. If you go too fast, you're going to miss it. Like, you are really taking off right now. <sighs> it says, you can be a big fan of marriage. Just be an even bigger fan of diamonds. So, it's like, you want marriage. Yeah, you want somebody, Virgo. That's where you're at. But you want money. You want that bag. I feel like I was telling a friend this. Done, dust, done fucking with dusties, okay? I'm tired of being the leader in my relationship, personally. I'm tired of having more money. I'm tired of having more ideas. I'm tired of being more creative. I'm tired of being more everything than the fucking other person. No offense to anybody I dated, okay? Because the last chick I dated was fucking brilliant and incredible. And one of my last exes was as well. Another person I dated recently is incredible, but it's like they didn't believe that. Whatever, that's, that's beside the point. But what I'm saying is... You know what you want, Virgo. You have your sights set on that shit. You want the bag. You want that person to have money. And you want them to be fine. And you want them to motherfucking commit. Because that's the only way you're going to be with anybody. Boss shit. Bosses understand that lingo. Contracts are contracts. That's how it goes for some people. I, that's what I believe in, nigga. Put diamonds on my finger. Whether it's Herkimer or real, okay, not stolen from little children in fucking Africa. Enslaved people in Africa digging this shit up by the way I don't know I just had to plug that for some reason I'm on fire right now so y'all have to excuse me it says true friends last longer than marriage however many times you marry so make sure that that person that you get with they are it's almost like you it's, it's, I don't even have to tell you Virgo I just heard they know already y'all are manifesting a partner that is your mother fucking friend you want them to be your friend you want them to have money you want them to understand loyalty and commitment and business and legacy and gentleness and sensuality okay let me get off that i'm gonna leave y'all with that i hope that was a nice little bonus read for you guys i'm gonna be off this thing till tomorrow tomorrow friday okay i'm gonna get you guys your next read hey okay and i'll see you guys next time i love you guys so much peace